and welcome to episode three of COVID Cooking with Christian. Now tonight, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to start with some reader email. Like, literally hundreds of you guys have reached out to me in the last couple of days via email or DM. Slide right in those DMs. But let's go through some reader emails. This comes from Matt. Hey Buzz, you suck, everyone hates you, you're a fat piece of shit. I mean, I, I don't disagree with you, Matt, I mean, it just is what it is. This comes from Francis. Dude, do you ever comb your hair? Get a real job, loser. Thanks, Francis. This is literally my job. I'm pretty much, like, this is the first time I put on pants all day. Like, this is how I make my living. I don't know what to tell you. This might be one of my favorites that came from Donna, who apparently thought that she was like writing to this big parent corporation. So she writes, I find his arrogance and self-designated king of culinary, which I am by the way, obnoxious. I will unsubscribe so I don't have to see him ever again. Get him off your website, please. By the way, the recipe sounds disgusting. Well, Donna, here's what I have to say to you. First of all, I hope you're practicing social distancing, six feet away, coughing into your arm. Health is important to all of us, right? But Jesus, like, you must be really fun at a party. But that's okay. Just be well, be safe. And by the way, that smoothie was fucking delicious. So that's your loss. I don't care. And the final one. I love what you're doing with the Newport Buzz. It's so great, and we're so proud. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate that. But today we're taking the Amano Pizza Challenge. So what they're doing is, for the next week, till next Thursday, you can go pick up one of these pizza packs. Right? All this stuff comes in it. You've got your dough. And for eight bucks, you can pick it up. Two dollars from every sale goes to the MLK Center here in Newport. And you make your own pizza. I don't even know if I can be involved in this competition because my first job was at Firehouse Pizza. And I'm a pizza guy. I know how to make pizza. It's just, it's just a fact. So today, we're making pepperoni pizza. Step one, you got the dough. You gotta knead this out, right? Let's give a little, little oomph. Now that you've kneaded the pizza dough into a perfect circle, just like this, I mean, that's the best circle I've ever seen. Pizza people from all over the world have been like, that circle is the best, the greatest. This is gonna be the Donald Trump of all pizzas. And what you're gonna do is you take your sauce, right? You spread the sauce. And you make it perfect. It's perfect. It's beautiful. So this is the best thing you've ever seen. And you need to take your cheese. You take the cheese like thus. And you make certain that you distribute it around the pizza properly. It's going to melt, right? It's going to go in the oven at around 400. I'm going to do 425 because, you know, I don't really play by the rules. All right? You take some of these pepperonis. Distribute the pepperonis. Beautiful. Perfect. They don't call me the culinary king for nothing. The COVID corona culinary king. Then you take some of your uh, Parmesan cheese. I think it's supposed to go on after, but I'm going to put it on now. Sprinkle that. Then this green stuff. Man. Uh, it looks like spinach. I think it's probably like basil or something. So then you put that on there. Oh, it smells really good. So now that you've made this beautiful pizza, beautiful pizza, you stick it in the oven. So now we're going to do cooking with cat. I'm going to knead the dough even better than Christian did. Spread it out. Really knead it. <laughs> Make it uh, perfectly round. Okay, so now that I have this lovely pizza dough all kneaded, I'm going to just kind of shimmy this on here. Put the cheese next. Mmm. I could honestly just eat this straight, but I'll refrain. Um, what shall I do next? I think <sighs> do the sausage. It's looking pretty nice. I'm gonna take a quick hand, watch me break. Gotta pump it, lather it, and then rinse that baby off. Quick sip of my Amstel Light, not sponsored, but maybe I 
Yeah, how about how about the road trip IPA from Newport Craft? Sure, I'll take a sip of that too. <laughs> now, we shall add the basil. And then I'm going to just get all of this cheese all over there because I'm kind of a cheese fiend, technical term. We're good. Um, I'm going to take this and just stick it right in with Christian's. Ooh, this is actually looking pretty good. Number one is done. We're going to pull this bad boy out. I'm the winner, definitely. Look at this. Gian, I want a job. See that little weakling pizza in there? It's like, come on, dude. Give me a break. You're not a pizza person. You're a pizza guy. I'm a pizza guy. I know this shit. So now we cut the pizza. You hammer it down like that. You turn it, right? We're back. Boom. We're back. Boom. We're going to wait a minute for cat's pizza to come out, and then we're going to do the taste test. Okay, so now we're going to take mine out of the oven. It's looking great. I'm a master chef. <laughs> Heidi, it looks really delicious. Okay, so I believe this knife was used in the original Halloween movie. Michael Myers definitely had a knack for this more than I do. It's kind of almost like Chicago deep dish style, um, which was definitely what I was going for, and absolutely my intention. Okay, so we watch the one bite pizza reviews every single day. Hey, poor guy, one bite, everyone knows the rules. This is a 9.8. A 9.2? Like, you're just, you're just doing this so you can give yourself a 10. But guess what? You're getting, like, a fucking zero. <gasps> okay. Well, on that note, we'll try mine next. All right. Here we go. Ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Burn my fucking bat. Oh, <laughs> Stephen Hold. Very thick. T-H-I-C-C. I got a score. 10? 9.75. Mm. It was close to mine, but obviously not as good. But 9.75. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, she's a mess. <laughs> Food everywhere. Food all over her face. I think it's a straight 10 out of 10. But you can't do a 10. <laughs> Those are rules. You can't do a 10. No, it's... You Press. Know, if, Fuck yeah. up score right there. If, no, but if I'm going to be real... Um... I think it's a 9.99. Right, so, fine. just to be fair. I'm just fair. Yeah. So, here's what you do, you guys. Go to the Amano Pizza Shop between now and next Thursday. Buy one of these pre-made kits that they have for you. It's only eight bucks. Two dollars of every purchase goes to Newport's MLK Center to help children in need and families in need. Right? They've got a food pantry. They do a lot of great work. Then you take it home. You cook it. You do a video just like this. Have a competition. Hashtag it, a mono pizza challenge, and also tag them at a mono pizza. And at the end of the week, the winner will be crowned. And here's the deal. Their pizza will end up being the special pizza for the entire next week at Amano. I bet you, because I know Chef John is a great guy, I bet you they'll even let you come on board and cook a few. So, hashtag Amano Pizza Challenge. And drink Newport Craft, guys. Support our local businesses. Cheers. Social <laughs> distancing. Oh. That's as close as she lets me get to her. That's it. That's it. So, cheers. Cheers. Now to eat some pizza.